Hey, what's up guys? Welcome. So I wanted to do this video. Um, I've had a lot of people from my community, a lot of people come in my channel, my Twitch channel and ask, hey, how do you do your song requests? Um, whether it's like a new streamer or you know, somebody who just is looking to do song requests or whatever in their chat. Um, I use Streamlabs chatbot. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. Uh, I don't know how this functions with slobs, uh, Streamlabs OBS. Uh, I use OBS and the Streamlabs chatbot that I use is a separate application. Um, I'm going to put the link where to download that in the video below. Um, and again, I don't know how I, I you know, because Streamlabs, or Streamlabs OBS has its own chatbot. I'm not sure if this has the same functionality or not. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how I set this up so you guys have an understanding of how this goes. Okay, cool. So let's get into it. So you can see here, um, you can see here, this is the Streamlabs chatbot that I use. Um, you can see here, this is Streamlabs chatbot that I use. Uh, so what, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this application, right? And um, well, the first thing you want to do is you want to come down here and go song requests like this. And then go over here and go to settings because this is another thing people ask me is what happens is people um you this this bot can work a couple different ways you can do it so you type in uh like exclamation point sr which is a command and then the name of the song or you can do the name of the song and the artist are like the url and there's a couple different ways you can set this up but the easiest way i've found is to change this mode to read api the https uh, either either one of these two. This little drop down. If you click it, change it to one of these two. The song ID. Um, I have found this is the most restrictive as far as users coming in your channel and typing like um, the name of the song and the artist or the URL. This will only do one of the two. This will do both. So I always keep it. I always keep it. Uh, either of these work. Uh, the word beta always freaks me out. So I don't use that one. I use this one. Uh, they both function. Uh, they both function very similarly. So, sorry, a little cough there. Um, I'm getting over cold. So, as far as this stuff, uh, this is all stuff that you guys can, you know, do at your leisure. This is all up to you guys how you want to run your channel. Um, one of the other things that's kind of funny is, um, uh, so this is the two commands that this bot accepts. Uh, I don't do both. I just do SR. Uh, you can do either one. Uh, and the rest of this stuff is up to you guys. Um, how do you want to set it? I suggest on clicking these. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, I suggest on clicking these. Um, this one specifically, uh, unclick this one. Because this, what I'm about to show you will not work if you don't unclick this box. Okay, cool. So, whoops. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back. We're going to click this box. Actually, first, what, what I suggest you do, uh, so this is how I set up my channel, is go make yourself a YouTube playlist. So any song, make yourself, any songs that you want to listen to, that you want to listen to, or you think your viewers want to listen to, throw them in a playlist, right? Throw them in a YouTube playlist. And then, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this playlist, right? Copy it. And open up your Streamlabs chatbot and click import. And then click playlist and copy and paste that playlist into your uh, into your box here, right? And then you click add and it takes a second usually. Okay, cool. So now all these songs are in your playlist, right? So um, you just go back. They're in your playlist now. Uh, you can... You can um, Shuffle these, you can do whatever you want. Um, so these are in your playlist now. So now what happens is uh, we're going to play one of these real quick. So you click play, um, and these will start to play. You can hear it now, right? So what happens now, what the cool thing about this is now, if you go back to your, like, console, right, you have your, you have your regular console. Now, if a user comes in and requests a song, this is what happens, and this is why this is so cool. Watch. So SR, and then we'll do Ghost, uh, Rats, right? They like that song, right? Click Enter. So that's what your user would type in if they wanted to request. There's the artist, and there's the song, right? So then this song is added to the queue. So this is what happens. 
So my playlist is queued up currently. So once this song is over, like I'll show you, I'll skip this song in my playlist. It plays their song in the queue. And then what happens is once this song is done, it goes back to my playlist. So it basically takes, it takes away the need, like you can play your music and your users can plug in their music, but you don't have to tab around. Like I don't have to turn down my music because like a user requests a song. It sort of just flows. Um, and so what'll happen is like, um, here, let me request a few more. Let me show you guys. Uh, I don't know. CBC. And then we'll do uh, one more just so you guys can see what happens. Uh, I like ghost a lot. <laughs> so. When the big one hit, I not like this. Oh, oh, hold on. So, so what happens is I'll skip. This is my playlist now, right? So I'll skip this one. So this is the queue, right? So then you go to the next one. It's the next song in queue. So it'll play all the songs in the queue that the users request until their songs are done. And then it'll just revert back to your playlist. So you can essentially queue up like a three hour playlist and just play in the background. And then if users want to come in and request songs and play them, they can. Um, makes it much easier to control like volume. You have one volume to control. You have one like set of songs to control. You don't have to tab around. Um, <clears throat> a couple of things I will tell you about this is this bot uses YouTube um, to draw all these songs from. So um, some of the volumes can be a bit funky. Like YouTube, you know, like whatever the user, whatever quality, whatever you use it, uh, like the original volume of the YouTube videos is what the volume is going to be. So you got to kind of watch it. It's not too crazy. Um, I found that uh, when I set it at a particular volume, I don't have to touch it too much. Every now and then I have to turn it down. Um, that's it. Uh, that's it. I don't think there's anything else as far as this pot goes that I wanted to explain. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I got to do this for you guys. Um, that's it. Uh, you guys have a good day.